If you have a Class A RV, more than likely you have an air system. And if you have an air system, more than likely you've developed an air leak at one time or another. And it's one of those things, unfortunately, that if you don't have one now, you're probably gonna have one in the future. So let's talk about the ways to diagnose, track those down and solve those air leaks. So stick around. Right here, I've got a Newell coach, and if you know a Newell coach, it has air powering almost everything in the coach, whether it's the doors, the air seals, the level ride suspension, the air brakes. There's a lot of air fittings in this system, and it can be a little bit of a, a daunting process to track these down. So let's talk about the conventional methods of finding an air leak. Of course, if you're fortunate enough, you can actually hear it with your ears. But unfortunately, those hissing noises can be either in the ultrasonic range that's very hard to detect, or unfortunately, as we age, it's harder and harder to hear those air leaks. Not to mention the fact that those air leaks may be in a, in a position that's completely inaccessible to us. So there's different methods and tools that you can use. Most of us have seen or actually used the old soapy bubble technique, and that works great. So there's no explanation needed. You basically find the fitting, and you squirt a liberal amount on there, and you wait for that air to blow by and make bubbles and foam. And it doesn't take long to find a significant leak this way. Very effective. Two problems. Number one, access. Sometimes you don't always have great access, such as the airbags under here. Some of those fittings are in a real tight position. Two, you have to see it. So you have to see that fitting in order to see the bubbles. Now, with the advent of a cell phone, it's really nice because you can get in there in those tight pockets and take a picture or even a video, turn that flashlight on and be able to see back there where normally you couldn't stick your head or eyes. So very good, very effective. Let's talk about a high-tech way of doing it. So this tool is called an ultrasonic leak detector. In the HVAC industry, these are used to detect gas leaks, but these are very effective for detecting air leaks on an RV. The way it works is it actually picks up in a very sensitive manner the air leaks that you and I cannot hear and see, certainly in those areas where you can't access. And quite frankly, there are some areas that you don't want to just wet down with a ton of soapy water. So let's talk about how this works. This particular unit is called an Amprobe. It's a ULD 405. It's their lowest, it's their least expensive version. It has the minimal amount of attachments and this is actually updating one of the more analog versions that had switches on it. This is a more digital version. Uh, these are not cheap. These run above 400. I think 450 and they're going up in price right now. There are cheaper ones. Uh, there are some out there on Amazon. Quite frankly, I bought one that was $200 and I returned it. It didn't work well at all. The other problem with that one is it was, it was a very long wand. I like this one. It's short and compact. And I found that you need this short, compact unit to get up and under things. So let's talk about what makes this ultrasonic leak detector unique. It can measure the air leaks that you and I can't detect. So it's good whether they're out of reach or you can't see them or you can't hear them. They give you a couple different tools. They give you a parabolic tool, which basically helps to eliminate background noise. They give you a extension tube, a snoot, so it helps you get into remote areas. It also helps you isolate specifically to a certain fitting. Whereas when you look at this, it has a cone that picks up on leaks. And what you do is you can turn the sensitivity all the way up as you turn this unit on until you see the bar graph just come up off a of zero. And that gives you the maximum sensitivity. So you just pan it back and forth, kind of like a, like a uh, Geiger counter and it'll start reading on the display if it hears an air leak. Now, it'll hear it and it'll detect on the display and you can hone in on it and eventually lower the sensitivity down so you have to be pretty much right on top of that air leak and you pretty much know right where that fitting is leaking. Now, this has an earphone port. 
And then the earphone port is basically now gonna give you an actual audible amplification of the air leak itself. And you'll actually be able to hear it. So it's a highly sensitive microphone, basically, very directional. And coupled with something like this, you can get right in top of that fitting and hear that leaking. And it's again, a very narrow frequency range so that it picks up just that air leaking and nothing else around it. That said, you do sometimes get electrical interference and sometimes you have to turn off the coach's electrical system if you start hearing a lot of extra static and beeping and things like that that's coming from electrical panels. Anyway, um, let's give this a shot and I'll kind of show you step by step how you'd go about isolating an air leak. So this is gonna be very hard to see back here, but I'm going to show you the principle at which you can use this. So once again, I'm gonna dial it up with the sensitivity as high as it can be before it starts reading off of zero. And then I'm going to hold it back here and I'm just gonna sweep it back and forth right around that air fitting. And I'm looking for that meter to register and it's all good. Now, if you need to, you can set this and reach back there and isolate. But again, you have to actually see the display. And if you can't see the display, then it's not gonna do you any good. Now you can see back here at the tag axle, on the tag bag, it's even harder to get to. So you could imagine how difficult it would be to hear a leak that's actually behind this frame member. So with this, you can point the tube down on top of that fitting. Here's another compartment with a lot of air fittings in it. These are all the leveling system and your air handling system. So this is another good spot to look for leaks. And once again, just holding this amp probe and sweeping past all these fittings, you should be able to see. Now, you see I have a register. So as I sweep back and forth, I'm seeing something register in there. So I'm gonna lower my sensitivity down and I'm gonna sweep back and forth. It might be picking up interference. So as I sweep back and forth, if I do detect something on the display, like right in there, what I'm gonna do at that point is I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna put my headset on. And that'll actually let me hear rather than just see the display. So I'll actually be able to hear the leak. There is a lot of interference back here from electronics. So chances are I'm just picking up electronic static. And if you'd like to narrow that down a little bit more, you can always put the parabolic on and that'll help focus the sound a little bit more. Check the leveling manifold. There's a lot of different points on these uh, coaches to look for air leaks. Certainly a Newell has just a ton of fittings. And you know you just wanna systematically start and go around the high suspects Okay, and go from there. So there we go. Um, again, Amprobe ULD 405. Uh, it's a good tool. It does work really well. I've tested this on leaks that I know. I just, it's just one of those things where I'm just gonna keep around on my, my grab bag and uh, hopefully it'll pay off. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the compliments and the comments and the suggestions. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified. When the new videos come up, it also helps me to know what people are watching. So that helps. And of course, giving me a thumbs up uh, also helps for the YouTube metrics, which tells me which videos are popular. So I kind of know which angle to take on these. So I'm glad to hear that they're serving you well. And that's, that's what it's all about, helping the community. So take care and as always, safe travels. Thanks for watching.